So I started this company to have a large impact on carbon emissions. Uh, we wanted to just pull as much carbon out of the atmosphere as possible, and this is the most scalable and fastest way that I can think of doing it. Our goal is to plant one billion trees by 2028, and uh, we're going to do it. My name is Bryce Jones. I'm CEO here at Flash Forest, and uh, we're Canada's first to market drone reforestation company. So, so wildfires are increasing in Canada and in Fort McMurray there was a, a huge wildfire um, recently and there's quite a few actually just in the area in the sporeal environment that have had wildfires. So one issue with this is that tree planters actually can't go in in many of these sites. It's just too dangerous. You know, there, there's, there's slopes, there's slash, there's cliffs, there's snags sticking out and I think the real only way that I can think of to, to scale this up is uh, through the air. Um, and drone technology is, is here now and we can use this, uh, yeah, we can use this to our advantage. Traditionally, tree planting has been a labor-intensive process. But by taking to the skies, Flash Forest aims to make reforestation more efficient and to gain access to difficult to reach and dangerous environments, such as the post-wildfire areas around Fort McMurray. The key is in the biological seed pod technology. Pods can either be dropped from above the canopy or fired from near the forest floor. Once activated by moisture, the pod expands to create an ideal cavity for the tree to germinate and grow. So ERA is allowing us to test our technology in uh, northern Alberta. This is the boreal forest, and this is a biome that scales across Canada. It's the largest biome on Earth. It's a particularly difficult biome. The winters are harsh, the growing seasons are shorter, and so what works here will also work in Ontario, will work in Saskatchewan, um, across the country. ERA is committing $1.8 million over three years to this project. With this funding, we're going to be able to really ramp up um, our automation equipment and get closer to 100,000 and then eventually uh, 500,000 pods a day.